people on social media talking about issues like uh, they're saying that South Africa has lost the plot. Um, we are in a dire situation and so on and so forth. So with me, I have my colleagues, Tembi Sositole, who is our social media expert uh, specialist. Um, and of course, you've been tracking what people are saying and how they're reacting to the current situation in the country. What are people saying? Hi, Nompu. Unfortunately, a lot of people, they just came back from holiday. They're back at work, back from a festive season, and we have to deal with load shedding once again. As you said, of course, you listen to the guests there, sharing their views in terms of how this is affecting the business sector, similar to the social media sp space, people expressing themselves in terms of how much this will cost them in terms of finances. As we reflect that on our screen, uh, looking those, through those tweets, of course, looking at the salaries, you know, people are saying, okay, salaries are good. They I mean salaries are not increasing at all. Then in competent government allows for an 18 percent increment uh, when it comes to this electricity thing you know the electricity hike uh, tariff and people are saying our salaries are still the same but yes we are paying so much uh, for this electricity and i did see that uh, apparently president Ramaphosa said in response to this nurse decision well my hands are tied and of course that's totally unsatisfactory to people out there who like you say maybe didn't even get a wage increment or who are unemployed Definitely, Nompu. As we go back to, to, to reflect on another tweet as well, also the city of Cape Town, the mayor sent a tweet there saying it's about time that they make means not to rely only also on the uh, electricity there in, I mean, in terms of ESCOM, just to get other key players. You can also see another tweet there. They, of course, they are outraged by this uh, of, uh, decision to increase uh, the tariffs of ESCOM, really calling it sort of unjustifiable in between. As we move into another tweet, then you can see that people are really expressing themselves when it comes to this COSATU of course, we know it's representing a number of workers denouncing this uh, decision uh, by NASA to really increase the tariff. But at the same time, you know, the workers themselves, as we go to another tweet now, they're actually saying now it's about time that we go on the march. You know, CIC, of course, that's the EFF leader of the, uh, of the Economic Freedom Fighters calling upon him to go there on the streets so that they can march against this. And I must say, Nompu, he sent a tweet recently, uh, a few minutes ago, saying, of course, it's about time that they go on the streets. Uh, they're saying we are on our own and it's very important for them to go out there and really represent South Africans. As you can see other political parties similar also like the ATM going all out there saying they are really calling on government to stop mismanaging yeah. uh, ESCOM. Just to counter the view about going on the streets and protesting yeah. because some people feel that it's not really effective. You protest for one day and everything goes back to normal. Somebody was saying that you know let's uh, you know let's put our hand up and show what we think come the polls in 2024. Definitely, that's true. And you can tell that you know, people are frustrated. Yeah. You know, people are saying, we have seen you talking about policies. We are actually now celebrating that we're on different stages instead of really getting load shedding being suspended at all. You know, and then, of course, you know that different uh, businesses also reacting to that. You can see our reporter, Roland Baloy, sending a tweet saying that please, the Black Business Council says the electricity tariff is a steep hike and will lead to a rise in transport and food cost, of course, making, making South Africans really, making the cost of living high for South Africans. And that's a reality. And for the president to say our hands are tight, it's something else because the reality is that at this point in time, this is affecting everyone, the Absolutely. workers, the, the business people, ordinary South Africans in between. And I think it was mentioned in the interview that, you know, if you're going to have higher electricity, uh, chances are people are going to also, or businesses are going to put up the cost of their products and so on to reflect their costs. Uh, inflation goes up and then the Reserve Bank does its thing. And we were hoping, you know, that perhaps they're going to slow down like other people across the world. But uh, if uh, this is what we're experiencing, this is something that we need to be concerned about as well. Definitely, Nompu. And you must, not, you must not forget that yesterday schools opened. You know, we all know that the Minister of Education also in technology is encouraging uh, to, I mean, digital learning in between that layer. We should, the, 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 we should go paperless and all of that. What does this mean for those students who are relying on those technologies in schools? What measures are they putting in place to make sure that this really doesn't uh, continuously affect them? So we'll be continuing monitoring this. Do, uh, of course, urge our, we urge our audiences to watch SABC uh, Plus, you know, and also visit our website uh, to really get more information as we monitor this story and share the sentiment what they say about this. Any developments, Ted, that you've seen on social media around what the president is doing around the energy crisis? Well, you'll know that during the national uh, conference, they did put uh, plans and the pillars in terms of what is it that they want to do. Also in the January 8th statement, they did indicate that they're putting measures in place. And at this point in time, a lot of South Africans are really, want, are really waiting to see what does that mean practically, not only in theory, but 
Alexandria, what does it mean for someone who's in Alexandria, for someone who's in Soweto? Absolutely. And some people, of course, demanding that the president now begins to talk to us face to face in the way that he did uh, during the COVID uh, uh, crisis, saying that we need to be updated on a regular basis because, of course, stage six load shedding is untenable for so many and unsustainable for our economy. Uh, thank you there to my colleague, Stembiso Sitole, our social media specialist.